about Operation Comfort, and it is a nonprofit organization that gives back to wounded military through their interactive programs. And let me tell you, they are definitely interactive. Yes, it includes cycling and hockey, among so many other sports. Jen joins us to show and talk more about these adaptive bikes. But uh, what do we have here? Tell me about these bikes. Yes, so Operation Comfort, we have an adaptive cycling program. We have upright bikes, hand cycles, recumbents, and tandems for all abilities. So we've got the hand cycle here today and the recumbent. So the recumbent is more for lower body abilities, um, upper body impairments, traumatic brain injury, balance issues, stuff like that. And then the hand cycle is more for those upper body abilities. So if you have a spinal cord injury or you know loss of legs or anything like that, you can still ride a bike. So you said basically whatever injury that someone has sustained, you're gonna you're gonna make it so that they can just tool around on one of these bikes, right? Exactly, and we can fit the bikes to their specific size, abilities, all of those great things. You okay, I had, a, I had a chance to try this out, and this is one of the, the hand cycles here. And Chris, <laughs> this one's got a chain guard on it. So this one's got a chain guard good. on it. Okay, so, so this would be for someone that has a, a leg injury. And I just put my feet right put your in, feet up here. In here, okay. and normally we'd adjust the uh, foot. Foot rest, so they okay. fit you a little better, but That's fine. just for demonstration purposes, keeping so, the uh, shifter cable up. And I've got a brake, a gear shifter here, and a parking brake. Yep. And it's all hand powered, right? It's all on, all, all on your arms. So okay. The stronger you feel, the faster you can go. Should I try and lead the way with this? Yep. Or, or do you guys want to lead the way? You lead the way. Okay. Woo I'm, yeah, I'm leading you're the way. Leading the way. Right. <laughs> and so just you crank just, it all the way yeah. around. All right. Look at him. <laughs> so these are they obviously are the are the ex at this and uh tell me about the program and what it does for them because they seem very confident in those bikes yeah so specific all of our programs are you know no matter what their goals or interests are you know we accommodate so specifically with the cycling we have beginner intermediate intermediate advanced groups so some of these guys they've been riding for years they do century rides we do multi multi-day multi rides um it's all depending on their interests and goals. And for you, I'm sure that just hits the heart. I mean, tell me about what you have you have seen, maybe a few experiences that, that really hit your heart. Oh, it's an honor. Um, we do all kinds of special events, you know, in-state, out-of-state, local, and just seeing that light bulb go off, um, you know, seeing them get their independence back, get their quality of life back, back um, it's life-changing for all of us. I can imagine. So uh, the sled hockey, we got to send our producer Katie out there. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. That's just one of the many sports. Yeah, so we have the Rampage sled hockey team. You know, we are the sled hockey team of the Rampage here. They're a sponsor for us, take care of us. And again, that's that's for abilities, um, no matter their skill level, if they just want to come out for fun and fitness. But also we compete in the Midwest Sled Hockey League. So they travel, go to tournaments, go to national championships. We took second this year. Wow. So yeah, all abilities um, and the families are welcome out at our programs. How awesome. And so there's other sports. So if somebody, somebody watch and maybe they're interested and yes. um, joining something, but they just don't know what yet, what do you yes. have to offer? In the program? Yeah, so yoga, sled hockey, cycling. We have a shop where we do woodworking, welding, um, automotivation, working on cars. Um, we also do a variety of com community things, outdoor retreats. Um, basically, if the service member presents an interest to us, us we can make it happen for them. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Well, how did he do? Mike, how do you feel? You know, I finally got the, the hang of it there. That's that's not bad, but uh, what a work, workout. And it is, it is, I mean, you know, you're used to, used to pedaling with you all the time, but doing the arms like that, that and don't have to go go exercise him today. So well, you, so well and that's it. the way we, so we started. Our founder was visiting it, BAMC in 2005, and a guy who had lost his leg said he wanted to cycle again. So Janice got raised money for hand cycles and started our cycling program in 2005 with hand cycling. That I can, is amazing. I can imagine that somebody who's wounded may think, okay, I'm never going to be able to do anything like this before. What's, what feeling do you get when you see them get off one of these things and, and what do they feel like? Oh, it's awesome because that's the thing. A lot of people don't know, you know, what opportunities are out there physically for those with disabilities. So, you know, just to see that light bulb go off and get them active and like, Several of our guys here today are a perfect example of that. Never say never. They never can do it. it. Yeah. Operation I love Comfort. That. Thank you very Thank you, much for, for doing all this. Thank, Thank you, you for your service, Thank you, everybody. <laughs> How'd I do, guys? What do you think? Good? Yeah. Good. Okay.
<laughs> I don't think I'll be on the relay team anytime soon. So if you'd like more information about Operation Comfort, make sure you go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And